Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome along to another match day experience. It's another Tuesday night match. Suffolk and Ipswich League time is Claydon versus Hawley United. It is Claydon's first game of the season, whereas Hawley won 5-0 on the first match of the season. So they're going to be in good spirits and Claydon are going to want to kick things off uh, with a win and hopefully get some good, you know, get some good momentum building after a very successful campaign in which they got promoted last year. So I, I'm looking forward to this match. I've been to Claydon and to Great Blakenham where the game actually has taken place a lot of times, but never seen the pitch, never seen the club. I don't know much about the area that I'm really going to other than the fact that I've driven through there a lot of times. So I'm really looking forward to tonight. It's another Tuesday night game. So, you know, I'm just excited. I'm really, really excited. I just want to get going now. It's been, I've been waiting the whole day. I've had the whole day off. And we're only a couple of hours away from, from actually game time now. It's a 6.15 kickoff, which I think is possibly down to the lighting, maybe, around the pitch. But I don't know. Maybe someone in the comment section can let me know why every game in the midweek is a 6.15 kickoff. That, you know, as I said, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. I haven't done much research in this. Because Suffolk and Ipswich is kind of level 11 in the English pyramid. So it's a little bit further down than the furlough num, but I'm still expecting a good game nonetheless. So let's get going. I'm now going to chill out for a couple of hours and then we're going to be heading off to Great Blakenham. So, here I am in sunny, glorious Great Blakenham. Next kind of hamlet along to Claydon. Uh, not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not feeling 100% today and I'll tell you kind of what's gone on, but basically yesterday I went to a spa day in Fetford. And before I went in, I was told to put on this uh, moisturizing cream to kind of explode at your face, I guess. Not really sure, I've never done that sort of thing before. And I said to my wife, I guarantee I'll have some sort of reaction to this. And I don't know if you guys can see, but my lip is quite, it's red. It's a bit red. And uh, this morning I woke up and it was puffed up, like proper puffed up. So I've had to put ice on my lip the entire day. So my speech might be a bit slurred, which will be fun for an interview if, if that happens. And um, when I was actually at the spa in the swimming pool, I was just in getting out and one of the jet streams hit me in the ear. Uh, so my ear and my head have been banging all day. And uh, yeah, I, I haven't been able to get the water out of my, out of my ear. But uh, anyway, I'm hoping that tonight's game can at least, can at least provide some sort of relief for myself. But here we are. That is all of the facilities that Clayton have on offer and it looks looks very good so I'm just gonna go and have a bit of a wander around see what's around and yeah catch up with you guys in a sec pitch is looking good expecting big things now
So there it is, half time, 1 0 to Claydon. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't even recording the penalty incidents because I thought the defender was just going to simply clear his lines, but he didn't. Made a right hash of it. Um, player got in in front of him and uh, penalty was given, so it's quite easy 1 0. But um, it's interesting, two teams with completely different styles of playing. Claydon are very comfortable with passing around the back three, looking for their wing backs to get involved. Um, whereas Hawley, completely different style of play, just want to get it forward as quickly as possible. They do like to pass it around in the middle, but it's very much, let's get it to our wingers as quick as we can. But yeah, so, so from Claydon's point of view, they'll be happy that it's 1 0, but the, it's been getting a bit scrappy towards the end of the second half, and the ref is doing the one thing that really annoys me when it comes to uh, when it comes to referees at this level is that he's not talking to the players and it really really just winds me up when people do not, when the refs do not talk to players and explain what is going on and the Hawley players are getting really frustrated with him but uh, yeah half time 1-0 more of that in the second half please because that was good <laughs> Have to remember so what level of football I'm normally recording that is uh, 3-1 and the se the goal that um, Hawley just scored was created because the guy completely missed sort of air kicked it and uh, yeah I just wasn't expecting it there's been quite a few sort of incidents like that where I'm, I've been watching a slightly higher level of football not expecting the mistakes and then it's just uh, led to something quite interesting so it's 3-1 now Really, really got a game on our hands because Hawley are trying to step up their efforts, but is that goal going to kill them? Oh, would he run up? Would he keep running? <laughs> Oh, 
And that is game over. Both fullbacks are pushing on for Hawley, and as a result, simple throw in, defenders, centre backs can't deal with it. 4 1, done. So that just turned out to be a consolation goal for Hawley. Ended up 4 2 to Claydon. Superb entertainment. Six goals, no match fee. Got in for free. That's absolutely superb on a Tuesday night. Exactly what I want to see. It was a really good game. The only thing that ruined it was the ref. Absolutely, completely and utterly bottled the game. You know, just use that whistle. Use your whistle and talk to people. That's all they want. And it was getting so ridiculous that even the Hawley and Claydon players were all they were agreeing with each other that the ref was making so many mistakes. That that's when you know that the ref is having a poor game when both teams are agreeing with each other that they've had an absolute bear. But uh, yeah, four two. And apologies sort of during the game when there wasn't really much commentary, but mainly because of the lip. It's really starting to cause me a bit of problems and. I was trying to do some talking really quietly, but it really wasn't working because there were so many people around me. I really did not expect it. Um, I mean, I watched Stowe Falcons last year and there was maybe 20 people around me. Tonight, there was at least, at least 100, which for this level of football is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and comment, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. You know, you know the drill by now. I'm now trying to find out what game I can go to next. It might be a couple of week break before I bring you another match day experience, but I hope you've enjoyed this one. As said, make sure you subscribe. Until we see each other next time, as always, adios.